Imagine being stranded on a deserted island thousands of miles away from the nearest civilization, without any money or possessions. Many people might curse their fate and their gods. Stoicism is based on the idea that we have control over our thoughts and behavior, but not over external events. We should therefore strive to cultivate a stable, rational mindset by focusing on things that are within our control. This includes cultivating virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. We should also strive to accept and be at peace with the inevitable in life, such as pain and suffering, and practice resilience and detachment from external events. Zeno lost everything when his ship sank near Athens in around 300 BCE. After Zeno had lost everything, he began to read about Socrates. Shortly after, he began to study philosophy with the philosophers of the city. Soon after that, he began to teach his philosophy to his students in Athens. His philosophy is what we today know as Stoicism, which focuses heavily on self-control and tolerance. When we think of a Stoic today, we think of someone who remains calm under pressure or someone who is emotionally cold, but that isn't necessarily the whole truth. Most Stoics divided the world into two, things that we humans can control and things that we humans cannot control. For example, if you see your friends going crazy about some politics, a large part of your friends will never have anything to do with it and an even smaller part will be in a position to change something. Therefore, the Stoics would say that it is a waste of energy. Instead, the Stoics believe that we should focus on what we can control and train ourselves not to overreact. This means that we do not have control over everything, but rather how we respond to them. The Stoics believe that the world was connected by cause and effect, resulting in our universe which they called Logos. Since we do not always have control over everything, but only over how we respond to them, four cardinal virtues were practiced. 1. The practical of wisdom. The skill of navigating complex situations through logic. 2. Self-control, the ability to master oneself. 3. Justice, not only towards people we meet but also towards those who have done wrong. 4. Courage, Seneca wrote, sometimes even to live as an act of courage. Cato was, according to some, the perfect Stoic as he would sometimes walk around in the most garish colors so he would be laughed at by those around him. In this way, he would become immune to feeling shame for something he should only feel shame for, thus developing a kind of tolerance for it. In Seneca's 13th letter, he advises people to set aside some days where they don't eat good food and don't wear nice clothes. In this way, they practice poverty in the worst scenarios so that the fear of losing is not able to overpower them. A more modern example of this is fasting or taking cold baths. One must train in suffering or things they don't enjoy so that unplanned suffering will have less of an effect on them. It is like the saying the more you sweat in peacetime, the less you bleed in wartime. Stoicism was a thriving school of philosophy for a long time, but eventually, it began to decline as an institution. Stoicism has been used by many great people such as Marcus Aurelius as it gave him the strength to govern and win two great wars while having to cope with the death of his children. Stoicism also had a political philosophy. Where Zeno argues that every person in a society should be free and that every citizen should have equal rights, this applies to both men and women and there should not be a difference because of skin color or cultural background. A society should according to the Stoics be built for the common good of all. Instead of there being a political, social, or economic elite. So why is it relevant today? In today's world, where we are constantly bombarded with messages of stress and worry, Stoicism offers an escape from it all. It provides us with tools to deal with the everyday challenges of life and to find a balance between our passions and our practical needs. It encourages us to focus on our internal values rather than the external world. It also offers practical advice on how to deal with difficult situations, how to maintain inner peace, and how to cope with anxiety, fear, and other emotions. It also encourages us to take responsibility for our actions and to focus on our values, instead of getting caught up in the material world. Additionally, Stoicism teaches us to be content with what we have, to practice self-discipline, and to be aware of our mortality. In short, Stoicism can be a great source of wisdom and guidance in navigating life's challenges.